everybody and welcome back to bk's bullets we're gonna end our night of dc fandom talking about the batman not the character the movie starring robert pattinson colin farrell paul dano andy circus um blanket on the guy jeffrey wright playing commissioner gordon uh john Turturro is in this movie there's a whole bunch of people um catwoman is uh, lenny kravitz his daughter, Zoe, I want to say it's Zoe Kravitz. Um, lots of people in this movie, all-star cast. And they. he said, this was a really good panel if my kids hadn't come home right at the moment uh, they were talking about it. But it was a really good panel. If, if you catch it on repeat, uh, it's a very good panel. Um, I know they're repeating these for 24 hours, I believe. Um, and I don't know if it'll be available again on September 12th, but you could try and check it out there. But basically, we had 30 minutes of Matt Reeves talking about the Batman movie and and things about, you know, what inspired him and what his take on the Batman is or how, when this movie takes place, the year two, basically. Uh, and that his bat suit, he wanted you to think that Bruce Wayne made it. So if Nolan's version was grounded before, this is going to be an even more grounded version. Um, I mean, within reason. I don't know that you could practically build a jet pack or jet fire thing into your car the way that he does in this movie but yeah we'll go with it so it, bruce is not getting his bat suit from lucius fox the way we did in batman begins in and the dark knight he's building it himself and i gotta say for only i mean maybe this is because that dc fandom happened and they're in the this pause of shooting and stuff and they're about to to restart but they showed a lot of the Batman that I thought maybe they wouldn't, right? I mean, I was expecting a teaser similar to what we saw earlier this year with just like the lifting up and the all red um, color scheme where we just kind of like revealed the top shoulders of the suit. They showed him in full light. Uh, they showed him like from waist up. They showed him walking around. They showed the Batman in action, beating up people. They showed the Batman in, you know, he's in what astonished me, which is something we've seen for the first time, uh, I think, in these movies, in, in these Batman movies, really, is the Batman. I want to say the Batman to distinguish it from the other movies, I guess. Um, interacting with the police at the crime scene, the way we've seen it in the comics, where the crime has happened, all the CSI guys or techs are doing around, doing their things. Commissioner Gordon is there, and he pulls up something, and he goes, this mean anything to you? And turns around, and there's Batman in the middle of the scene with all the police, all the lights on, all that stuff, just walking through this apartment where this guy's been murdered or whatever, and just, you know, nonchalantly like, hmm, I don't know. Um, I thought that was really cool, really something we had not seen before, and uh, I'm excited to see more of that more of Batman actively being a participant in this world as a crime fighter and vigilante and less of a urban legend. So I think that's going to be apparent. He's going to be less of an urban legend and more of like a real thing that everybody knows is out there. Um, so that was cool. We didn't see Alfred. We didn't see Penguin. We heard Alfred. I heard Andy Serkis in there. Um, we did see the Batmobile with a blue flame behind it, which was really cool. And we saw a couple funerals and we saw Bruce Wayne looking really, really dark. But, um, and we heard Batman's voice. We heard Batman's voice. And it sounds like Pattinson's doing um, the same, similar thing that Bale is doing, just lowering his voice really deep. I don't think it's as, like, growly as Bale is, but this is off one line in the trailer. Obviously, this can change also. And for being 25% done filming, they still have a lot to do. This looks fantastic right now. This looks fantastic. So... If they, whenever they start up their marketing campaign, this is supposed to come out next year, by the way. This is supposed to come out next year, um, which is bizarre. That they're, they have 75% left of the film to shoot. I guess they could do it if they're starting up next month. They could do it before Christmas. But then they're going to edit it and do whatever visual effects next year. But maybe there's not that many visual effects because it's all, it's all Batman and cars and stunts and stuff. That would be a great thing. Um, but yeah, it's just bizarre. Uh, to see, think that they still have so much left to do and it's coming out next year, but we're talking about The Rock and Black Adam and Shazam 2, and those are ways off. 
So just goes to show, like, it depends on what type of movie you're making is how long your timeline is from, you know, production start to release based on effect shots, basically. Or, or the, uh, you know, it's slotting in the schedule. The schedule could change, too. I mean, this could get delayed another year like Fast and Furious 9 if this COVID thing goes on and on and on. But I'm happy to, happy to say that uh, after seeing the suit and being intrigued and Robin Pattinson casting and being kind of like, hmm, I don't know, the same way I was with um, Batfleck, I guess, um, you know, this caught me off guard about how cool this looked. And um, I'm really excited for this film now, so I can't wait to see this. Uh, will this take place as my new Batman film of my personal favorite? Because my, mine right now is the Nolan trilogy. And if this, I mean, there, we don't look like we're getting into too much origin stuff. This is just a Batman adventure, which is cool. And, and Matt Reeves talked about that in his 30-minute talk with Aisha Tyler that, you know, we have hints at origins. We want to see where everybody's at. Some characters are just developing, you know, uh, nobody's really the crime boss or the super crook that they are. Even Batman's not, you know, fully fl formed. We're still forming him. You're going to see him, like, adjust the suit as we go on here. So, and that's going to be true with the other characters. So, I'm really intrigued, and that looked pretty cool. So, anyways, thank you guys for joining me here at DC Fandom. It's been one heck of a day, and thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next time in the Funny Pages.